50 metres off the ground with almost half a million volts running through power lines just centimetres away. Work on high tension power lines is clearly a job calling for concentration and steady hands. So think what it takes to fly a chopper up here. Pilot Dion Rousseff flies for a line maintenance team, making repairs to South Africa's national grid on the fly. With a helicopter this close to pylons and power lines, lives are literally in his hands. Dion's flying keeps the team working safely in a decidedly hostile workplace. A slip up here could mean lights out for more than just Johannesburg. Timing and teamwork are the rules here. For instance, this is how we pick up a spare part these days, without touching the ground. The linesmen, equipment and parts all make the journey on and off the wires on slings underneath the chopper. The 400,000 volt lines stay live while the repairs are carried out. Metal woven into their suits protects the linesman from the voltage and with his passenger back to a sort of safety on the wires, Dion readies the helicopter for the next step in this spectacular high wire act. Dion is one of just eight pilots in South Africa flying with live line teams. He joined the Electricity Commission after flying helicopters for the Air Force as an instructor on maritime search and rescues and in combat during the Angolan conflict. Now he flies a Bell 407, favoured by Liveline Air Mobile pilots for its emergency systems. He's also taken further training in specialised flying techniques to deal with one of the most hazardous environments he's faced. A mobile landing zone makes the trip to the inspection site by road. The landing zone carries parts and equipment for the line repairs, as well as fuel and the safe place to set the helicopter down. Dion flies to the site from base and rendezvous with the rest of the team after flying along the power lines to check for faults. Because the idea is to keep the power running, aging insulators and other parts are replaced before they fail and cut the supply. In the past, linesmen had to climb each pylon to carry out these inspections. With 25,000 kilometers of power lines, that took some time. Now, almost all inspection work is done from the air. Since air mobile teams were introduced to South Africa in the 1980s, they've become the standard for live line work. 85% of line maintenance is done with helicopters. Although these aircraft are expensive to operate, they have made powerful savings in efficiency. Line maintenance teams working the old way, travelling overland to the foot of each pylon, could service just two or three towers in a day. Now, given reasonable weather, this air mobile team can work its way through 20 a day. For the linesman, working in a helicopter team has meant new skills and new thrills. For a start, it's a bit like taking a bungee jump to work. For Dion, though, this is serious. He's manoeuvring an aircraft the size of a small truck around live electric power lines and towers of steel girders, trying to place three workmates safely on top of the pylon. At all times, while he has people or parts slung underneath the helicopter, Dion leans out of the cockpit and watches the load below. Critically, that means he can't check where he's flying by looking at the instruments or the horizon. Instead, Dion uses a flying technique known as vertical referencing to determine his height and how close he is to the pylons and wires. As he manoeuvres and watches the cargo, he judges the helicopter's position entirely from reference points on the ground. There's no guesswork involved. Dion trained for 80 flying hours just to master vertical referencing. 
Coupled with precision flying to stop the sling load swinging like a pendulum, the technique means he can deliver parts and people safely wherever they're needed, often to a target area just a few centimetres across. It's not just here in South Africa that Dion's kind of flying will be making a difference. The Power Commission has plans to take this technology beyond the country's borders. Air mobile teams like this one will be part of the scene as new electricity and communications networks are constructed right across Africa. As this huge continent develops its potential, expect to see more flying like this, a precision aerial dance, helping a new Africa to stay switched on.